New at six, another black eye for the city's troubled schools. The principal at a failing Bronx High School is under investigation tonight on charges of grade fixing, changing scores so most, more students would pass. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says Mayor de Blasio is vowing serious consequences for any wrongdoing. DeWitt Clinton High School in the Bronx is a struggling school. Low attendance and a graduation rate of 45% put it on the endangered list. Now it has a new problem, its principal under investigation on charges of changing failing grades. The irony here is that the principal under investigation is a former deputy chancellor in the city department of education. His job was to close failing schools. Put simply, Principal Santiago Tavares is under investigation for changing failing grades to passing grades without the teacher's consent. For example, a senior who got a no-show grade in global history reportedly got it changed to 75. Another student's 55 in English reportedly changed to a 90. A failing algebra grade of 55 changed to a passing 65. While other grade-fixing cases like that at John Dewey High School in Brooklyn were reported by teachers, in this case, the department Department of Education discovered the problem itself. My Department of Education initiated that investigation, and uh, that investigation will proceed promptly. And if we find any wrongdoing, there will be very serious consequences for the individual involved. Students at DeWitt, part of the Department of Education's renewal program for failing schools, were outraged. It makes me upset. He's going to make us look bad. I have 90s, and now I'm going to be questioned about my 90s. Changing the grades is not going to help anything. It's not going to help the students. It's not going to save the school. We all have to earn our grade. The principal reportedly urged teachers to raise their pass rates to 80%. In the Bronx, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.